Hello everyone, welcome to Bajus Exam Prep India's most comprehensive preparation platform. So there is one more good news for all of you guys that the Gale India Limited has decided to recruit it uh, for the executive trainee through the GATE 2023. So the notification has come and we have come live to give you the information, the Satik information for your career path. And this executive trainee post especially for the four branches that is your chemical, civil engineering and electronics engineering and the computer science. So if you have appeared in the GATE 2023 from all of these four, any of these four branches, then this is the notification for you. So as you can see that the, for the chemical engineering, there is a 20 post. For the civil engineering, it is 11. For the electronics, it is 8 number of posts. And for computer science, it is again 8, out of which there is one reserve for the PWBD category A. Okay, so if you have uh, given the gate 23 and if you are thinking that you are going to score more in the gate examination, then it is for you. And this is not only, uh, this is only for the gate 23 student, means uh, if you have done your BTEC from uh, whether you are from B plus MTEC or you have done only the BTEC, then if you have passed out from 2022 or you are in the final year students then you are eligible for it but the valid score card should be of gate 23 only so let's discuss it further that as i told you that the essential qualification for the chemical engineering is bachelor degree and you should have the minimum 65 percent mark same for the civil engineering that you should have the 65 percent mark and for the electronics and communication telecommunication and triple e branch is also available so the triple e branch student can give the gate from the EC and if you have appeared in the gate EC then you are eligible for it and for computer science students also whether you are, have done the BTEC from the computer science or IT you are eligible for it or you have done the MCA okay that is the three years master program with the minimum 65 percent mark so there is some relaxation in the minimum percentage of marks in the educational qualification according to this uh, relaxation in the minimum percentage of marks in the essential qualification will be provided with respect to SCST and PWBD category as per the following. So here is the 65% or 60% you can take the for the SCST students this will be 60% or 55% with respect uh, respectively okay for SCST this is 60% and for PW this is 55%. Uh, so this will be the uh, relaxation in your BTEC degree. Okay, so as I told you that if you are final year student or you are passed out, okay, uh, suppose you have uh, completed your graduation in the 2022, but you have qualified the gate 23, then you are eligible. And if you are going to get your degree in the gate 23, uh, in the year 2023, then also you are eligible for it. So there are two uh, years which are eligible that is 2022 and 2023 graduate students but the condition is your gate score should be from the 2023 only okay so all these things are given over here as i told you that this 2022 students are also eligible whether you have done b plus m tech or only b or b tech that is also okay whether you are dual degree program or you are simply from the BTEC degree program. Okay, so gate 22, uh, BTEC 22 and 23 can be eligible, but only the thing is your gate score should be 2023, right? So here you can see that in the year 21 or earlier are not eligible. Suppose you have done the BTEC in the 21 or before that you are not eligible, otherwise you are eligible, but the gate score should be 2023. The upper age limit is 26 year as per 15-3-2023 for the post of executive training and for uh, there is a relaxation in the age also. If you are from SCST, there is a 5 year relaxation and for OBC, it is a 3 year relaxation. Then you can go through it once, then you will come to know that what are the different conditions over here. Okay, and if I go about the pay scale which in which you are mostly looking for so this is the minimum you will get for the e2 grade this is 60000 to 180000 pay scale and uh, the pay and allowances are there variable pay other benefits and superannuation benefits 
other things are there the placement will be the promotion period for the during the training come promotion period and after that you will get the final posting okay and uh, there is a health conditions also that uh, you can check in when you go into the gail site and there is a separate medical examinations are available in that particular section what will be the selection process you will be called for the uh, further process there may be interview group discussion etc uh, on the basis of the gate 23 scorecard so here gail will be utilizing the graduate aptitude training test 23 gate 23 for the recruitment of executive training for the discipline of chemical civil and electronics and computer science during the year 2023 eligible candidates who wish to apply for the position executive training in the gale will be required uh, to re first register for the gate 23 and thereafter appear in the gate 23 so obviously you have already appeared it for it and the branch code should be ch ce ec and cs okay now uh, what are the what do you have what should you have uh, at the time of the interview or when you will be called for the interview or group discussion, you should have the admit card and you should have the score card of gate 23. So don't, uh, uh, you know, uh, misplace this gate 23 admit card. You should keep the gate admit uh, card also. Here you can see gate 23 admit card, no request with respect to making changes of any data particulars. And yes, one more thing, when you will be filling the gate uh, gale form, then your photograph should be the same which you have uh, uploaded for the gate examination so the photograph should also be same okay this is the general condition that you should keep in the mind okay and uh, the uh, date registration link is already live that is from today that is the 14th of february to the 15th of march so all this detail you should keep in your mind and uh, here again one more thing that if you have the gate 22 scorecard then you are not eligible only the students who are having the gate 20 Three scorecard are eligible for this particular post. Okay, and uh, the passport side photograph uploaded by the candidate should be same as submitted along with the gate 23 application form. In case the candidate is called for further selection process like uh, group discussion, he or she will be required to produce her original gate 23 admit card and official scorecard printout of the online application form as per the indicated above clause, uh, clause okay and other relevant documents both original and one set of self-assisted copy so you should be required for the date of birth your degree essential qualifications will be required and uh, if you are uh, suppose uh, looking for the age relaxation then these things will be required and if you have any experience then that experience certificate and the pay slip you will be required and if you are applying for obc then this non creamy layer OBC certificate is required, SCST uh, certificate is required. So, all these things are required, and there is no separate fee for applying for the above post of the executive training in the gate. Okay, so this is all about the uh, gate 23 notification, which is through the gate 2023. Okay, so uh, you can go to the gale website and if you can read all these instructions one by one that most of the points i have already been covered so you can just go and register yourself for the gale uh, uh, recruitment for the executive training through the gate 23 if you are going to qualify if you think that your gate examination has gone well then this is one of the best job you will get uh, through the psq okay so the starting date as i said this is the 14th february that is today 11 o'clock and it is up to the 15th march evening 6 o'clock okay so all the very best guys and don't miss this particular opportunity thank you